Hello everyone! Welcome to the first episode of the new series I'm starting on this channel called Insanely Simple Farms, a series where you can find some of the simplest tutorials for nearly every popular farm. For the first few episodes I will be focusing on villager based farms, and today I will be starting us off with a super simple villager breeder. Okay, so all you're going to need to make this villager breeder is uh, one slab, some building blocks, doesn't matter how many really, 27 glass panes, 2 glass blocks, a trap door, 3 beds, at least 3 powered rails, 64 rail or however many you need to get to where you want your villagers to be, a minecart, redstone dust, 2 buttons, a dropper, two observers, and a sticky piston. First thing, get your beds, place them in this pattern, then three blocks from the one to the right, come back like this, that way it's three blocks away from this one, and now get your glass blocks and place them like this, get your glass panes, and bring them around like this. And now cover the whole thing in glass panes. And now that we've done that, it seems I've lied about the 27 glass panes, so I'll just go ahead and throw those out because I don't need them. Go ahead and dig right under here, three blocks deep, grab your trap door, place that right there and open it, break down the same amount of blocks right here, and meet these up. Break this block right here, grab your powered rails, just like that, and the rails. Now, whenever the villagers breed, the baby villager will fall down that trap door and end up in a minecart. Mine that one right there. And then you use rails and however many powered rails you need to take it wherever you want. In this case, it'll be an iron farm that we make in the next episode. But for now, break right under this block here, place your redstone dust, and grab a button, and stick it right on top of that redstone dust, and that will send the minecart out. Alright, now grab your building blocks, place them right here on the second pane from the far left side. And you can break this one if you want, you don't need to, but it's not really needed. And get a slab right here, place a temporary block there, and put the slab right here. That will keep the adult villagers from getting over here and being able to obstruct the, the baby villagers path. Finally, we get to the food dispenser. Jump on this block right here place the dropper there so that any food it shoots out will be stopped by this block and come straight down. Oops, fell. <laughs> Alright, build up with temporary blocks. Grab your observer and make sure to place it on this bottom half of the block right here. That'll make sure it is powering this dropper. Now get another observer, make sure it's looking at that observer and that will it creates a very fast clock that will activate the dispenser repeatedly. Now grab your sticky piston, make sure it is facing upwards, and get your button, and that'll stop the clock. Now whenever you want to feed your villagers, you just press this button and it will shoot out a bunch. Usually you just have to press it like four times and they'll be able to breed. Alright, the final step we have is getting our villagers into the breeder. All we have to do to accomplish this is place a block right up here on this glass pane. Place one right there, and like this. And now I need to go get some more rails. I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, if you're coming from this direction, make sure to put a temporary block there so that way uh, they don't end up landing on that slab. And place a 
temporary block right there. Now that you've got your rail complete, you can go ahead and move your villagers. Alright, once you've got both your villagers in, you can go ahead and break... Oh, don't punch your villagers. <laughs> Once you've got both your villagers in, you can go ahead and put food in the dispenser. Villagers will breed with bread, carrots, potatoes, and beetroots. So go ahead and put enough of those in there. I usually fill it all the way up, but I only have 21 bread right now. And go ahead and press that, and eventually they will start to breed. And there we go. Soon there will be a baby villager and he will fall right down there and we'll be ready to transport him there we are make sure to remove both of your temporary blocks here and eventually that baby villager will go right in the hole all right now that he's there to demonstrate i'll make a little return rail trip so you can see how it works there we go, your villager breeder is now working. Alright everyone, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and were able to successfully create your villager breeder. If you have any questions or problems, please leave them in the comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe as I will be releasing more of these in a series soon.